Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome everyone back to another Call of Duty video. Hopefully you're enjoying your day. In today's Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video, we're going to be discussing the real reasons as to why Treyarch slash Activision decided to axe campaign from Black Ops 4 altogether. If you don't already know, campaign is officially going to be removed from Black Ops 4. It's going to be the first time ever in Call of Duty history that we're not going to be getting a campaign. Now in this video, I'm just going to go over some reasons as to why campaign is going to be removed. Obviously, there's some obvious answers to it, but I've decided to go ahead, get some quotes, get some statistics and put everything together so I can determine some of the main reasons as to why campaign is removed. I spent a lot of time making this video, so if you can drop a like, that'd be greatly appreciated, and let's get right into it. So about two months ago, we first got rumors of campaign not coming to Black Ops 4. A lot of people were quite mad. Some people were a bit happy because they'll be spending more time, you know, creating the online multiplayer version of Call of Duty, which is kind of what people normally play anyway. However, two months ago, when the rumors did first come out, a online journalist place that talks about gaming news and all that stuff called Polygon interviewed Dan Bunting, the head of Treyarch, and uh, they interviewed him, you know, around the time where rumors were circulating of campaign going to be gone. Polygon basically asked them, why are you removing... Our campaign from Black Ops 4 and Dan Bunting basically said when we set out to make this game we never started with the idea that we would make a traditional campaign of course through the course of development as always happens with every game we are to challenge our conventions trying different things now from that quote two months ago when the rumors did start about no campaign coming out Dan Bunting didn't really state a definite reason as to why they removed campaign from Black Ops 4 all he basically said was that the team kind of felt like campaign really wasn't a good idea and he didn't give us any detail as to why having a campaign isn't a good idea of Black Ops 4 or why they decided to shift their focus away from campaign. All they basically said was they wanted to try new things, which isn't really a valid or definite reason. Um, so obviously the real question is why isn't campaign a good reason or a good move for Activision or Treyarch in this stage. Well, I've done my research and only a few hours ago, Hollywood Reporter, which does a lot of online kind of journalist interviews with gamers, real life type of celebrities and stuff like that, uh, basically interviewed Dan Bunting as well. And they asked him, Black Ops 4 is the first Call of Duty without a campaign mode, right? And uh, Dan Bunting basically goes to say within this quote, as you can see on the screen, it's the first Call of Duty that doesn't have a traditional story campaign. It's always a hard decision to change something that drastically. But for us, it's just been a sequence of events over the last several games and the last few years where we are just seeing more and more players playing online, playing with friends, playing socially, and they are engaging with that kind of content in ways that are tremendously more than we're doing 10 years ago. We wanted to be able to free our team up to focus of its energy on delivering more of that kind of experience because that's where most of our fans are engaging. Of course, we all love those story campaigns and it is a hard decision to shift even from a development point of view, but I think it's the right time to do it and Black Ops 4 is a game we started from the beginning to be played with friends for a long time and then Bunting basically goes on to say a few other words which isn't really of importance. Now, from this recent quote we have here, there's a few things we can pick out. We have a few reasons now as to why campaign is actually gone. They're basically stating that during Call of Duty's lifespan, people are more engaged into the online multiplayer content. Obviously, that's more playing multiplayer focused game modes like zombies, multiplayer normally where you play TDM and search and destroy. And it seems to me they more or less decided to remove campaign because a lot of people weren't playing it. Now, during this quote of Dan Bunting, as I said, he did give us a reason as to why it's gone. Basically, a lot of people aren't playing single player. Now, he didn't tell us in this quote how many people are actually playing Call of Duty campaigns or how many people are still playing Call of Duty campaigns. However, I did come across a graph, so I did a bit more research. I came across a graph from Extreme Tech. So it's kind of another website that talks about graphs, gaming news and all that type of stuff. And in this graph, it tells us how many people have actually played a Call of Duty campaign starting all the way from Call of Duty 2. So as you can see with the graph on the screen right now, this graph is showing us how many people are playing the Call of Duty campaign. So in Call of Duty 2, uh, you can see that it's 12%. Call of Duty 3, it's about 35%. Modern Warfare is 25%. So it's starting to go down a little bit. World at War is 15%, so that's a massive drop. Modern Warfare 2 is now back up at 25%. 
Black Ops 1 is 23%, Modern Warfare 3 at 31%, Black Ops 2 at 28%, Ghost at 25%, Advanced Warfare at 30%, and Black Ops 3. Now, this is where things are a little bit different. As you can see, all the graphs so far are at least around the 15% to 30% range. So at least 15 to 30% of people are playing a Call of Duty campaign from all the way from Call of Duty 2 all the way to Advanced Warfare. Now, things are a bit different for Black Ops 3 because instead of the normal 15 to 25% of Call of Duty players playing the campaign, it's dropped down all the way to 5% for Black Ops 3, which is definitely a crazy number um, because that's just showing you that a lot of people really have not played campaign for that game at all. Um, because in Call of Duty 2, people played that campaign more than Black Ops 3. And then in Infinite Warfare, it went to 15%. And interestingly, with Call of Duty World War 2, it is actually up to about 29% as well. So obviously, as you can see, um, I did mark the Black Ops 3 with an arrow because the game is the least played in terms of Call of Duty campaigns. And uh, obviously, from that statistic, we already know that campaigns cost a lot of money to make. And they spent around three years developing Black Ops 3. So I don't know how many months and how many years out of the three years it took them to create campaigns. Campaign, but given that they had to implement co-op campaign and they had to use voice actors they had to develop a story they had to develop a ton of things and get a massive studio together it would have cost them a lot of money and a lot of time to create the campaign and all they really got was five percent of people uh, playing their campaign in black ops 3. so basically another reason as to why the campaign in black ops 4 is going to be removed is that a lot of people didn't really play it in black ops 3 and obviously, as I said, they spent a lot of money, spent a lot of time making it for Black Ops 3. And if a lot of people didn't play it in Black Ops 3, why would people play it in Black Ops 4? Obviously, if they made their campaign better, it could be the case. But judging that it was such a low number, that's probably another reason why Black Ops 4 um, decided to get the axe on campaign. So moving over to the last part in today's video, we're going to be talking about the last main reason as to why the campaign is gone from Black Ops 4. And that is going to be Battle Royale. So if you think about it, getting rid of single player allows their whole single player team to work on Blackout, which of course is the Battle Royale game mode for Black Ops 4. Now, because their whole single player team is now freed up and they can work on the Blackout game mode, it can allow them to possibly create the biggest and best Battle Royale game mode that we've ever seen. Of course, I don't know if it's the biggest or the best, but uh, judging that they've spent like probably like three or two years of development of this game, um, with a whole single player team working on it, I suppose that it would be pretty good given that. Now also what it allows um, Activision and Triarch to do is unlike campaign, they have the ability to make money off Blackout. So if you think about single player, they can't really, you know, like put supply drops, put COD points, no one's really going to buy any emotes or camos or character customizations in there because it's campaign who really cares. So in Battle Royale, people do care because it's an online experience where you verse people, you show off your different skins and stuff. So obviously from Blackout, they can make money by selling new maps for Call of Duty Blackout game mode. Um, obviously through Black Ops 4 at the moment, you can only buy maps not separately so you can't buy it separately which is kind of stupid but you can only buy it through a season pass so they make money from that obviously if they add in some type of camo um, that you have to buy which is specifically only for blackout then they can make money off that um, if they add like a double xp thing in where you have to spend cod points um, to get double xp to obviously level up faster or something along those lines that's going to cost money um, they were talking about adding older Call of Duty weapons to Blackout. If you want to access some of them earlier or something like that, you're probably going to have to pay some money. Same thing with camos, character skins coming to Blackout, emotes. And all of these items I just said, like character skins, emotes, co older Call of Duty weapons, weapon variants, double XP, cosmetics, emotes, all the dancing kind of stuff, could all be in supply drops altogether. So obviously getting rid of single player campaign, you know, they've spent a lot of money time, effort, creating campaign, they're not really making any money out of it. However, if they appeal to more of a multiplayer online audience where they know people are going to spend money, then obviously they are spending a lot of money on a game mode where they know they can get their money 
and return back. And I believe that is possibly one of the main reasons as to why single player has gotten removed. They're not really making money from single player because they can't sell items. And obviously they spend a lot of money uh, developing single player where pretty much everyone in Black Ops 3 didn't play it at all because it only had a 5% win rate. And obviously introducing Battle Royale, people are going to play it. People are going to spend money because I know for a fact they will add some kind of um, incentivization items like supply drops and stuff into the game. And overall, those are the main reasons as to why campaign is removed from Black Ops 4. Number one, a lot of people aren't playing campaign. Number two, more people are playing online. So they're going to try and create a new game mode where obviously people are going to spend money and play most of their time and thirdly having a blackout game mode just more or less makes sense in terms of if you're a shareholder in activision or if you're like one of the company directors where you're trying to maximize profit having a blackout game mode is a great way to create money because you can put supply drops create a game mode where people care about cameras and all that type of stuff and obviously people are actually going to play the game mode instead of single player like in black ops 3 where no one was really playing it so nonetheless guys Hopefully you did enjoy today's video. If you want more videos where I talk about real reasons as to why certain things happen in Call of Duty, just like this video, let me know down below in the comment section. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Let me know down below in the comment section as well. What do you think of single player being removed? I personally think they should keep it because there's a lot of people who buy uh, the Call of Duty or the new Call of Duty each year just for campaign. And I think those people should definitely be rewarded because, you know, they do buy Call of Duty each year for that experience. But nonetheless, hopefully you did enjoy today's video and I will catch you all later. Globe out.